over 300 years, Huskvarna has been nestled along the shores of Lake Vettern in southern Sweden. Since 1872, Huskvarna Viking has been the world leader in the development of the most advanced and easiest sewing machines. There are many beautiful garments and other sewing projects that you can easily create with your new Husqvarna Viking Platinum 770. This user's guide video will help you learn your new sewing machine to the fullest. Start to experience the ease of advanced sewing by making a top in stretch fabric and a pair of pants. In the Platinum 770 user's guide, there is a table of contents of the techniques shown in this instruction video. All techniques are marked with a number. You can see the number of the technique being shown in the upper right corner as you watch the video, so you can easily return to them on the tape whenever you like. Stop the video and sew the technique when this logo appears at the end of each section. Place your Husqvarna Viking Platinum 770 on a firm surface. Take out the cord from the foot control. Plug the foot control in the front socket. Plug the power cord into the back socket. Turn on the power and light. Straight stitch is always automatically selected when you turn on the machine. The language on your Platinum 770 is set on English at delivery. To change the language, turn off the machine. Touch the clear button at the same time as you turn on the machine. Touch the selection buttons until your language appears on the graphic display. Then touch M to go to the main menu. Open the accessory tray, located behind the free arm, and remove the upper tray. Place the presser feet, bobbins, and other accessories in the accessory tray within easy reach while you are sewing. Lift the front lid to open it. Use the main spool pin horizontally and slide the spool on so the thread reels off counterclockwise. Place the flat side of the small spool holder against small spools, the large spool holder against large spools. For extra large spools or for threads with special characteristics such as metallic thread, Use the main spool pin vertically with a felt pad under the spool. Start threading from the first threading guide arrow. Continue to follow the arrows through the thread tension and up to the thread take-up lever. Down again and into the guide on the needle bar. The needle threader eliminates tedious threading. Just pull the needle threader down and forward. Place the thread in the metal guide and under the hook. Bring the needle threader back and up. Pull the loop of the thread to the back, then under the presser foot and into the thread cutter. To wind the bobbin directly from the needle, place the empty bobbin on the bobbin winder spindle with the Husqvarna Viking logo mark toward you and pull the bobbin down to engage bobbin winding. Pull the thread under the presser foot, over the guide wires, and the bobbin guide disc. Wind a few turns of thread and cut. Touch the Start button to wind the bobbin. The bobbin stops automatically when it's full. Move the bobbin winder spindle up, remove the bobbin, and cut the thread on the thread cutter. To wind a bobbin directly from the spool, raise the second spool pin, pull down the bobbin on the bobbin winder spindle, 
Place the large spool holder and a felt pad on spool pin and thread around and into the bobbin tension disc under the bobbin guide, over the bobbin guide disc, around the bobbin, and wind. Touch start to wind the bobbin. The bobbin will stop automatically when it's full. Slide off the bobbin cover. Place the bobbin with the Husqvarna Viking logo up. Put your finger on the bobbin to keep it from turning. Pull the thread to the left into the tension spring. Thread up and around the guide, down into the thread cutter. Replace the cover and pull the thread to the left to cut it. If your top thread or bobbin thread breaks or runs out while sewing, raise the presser foot, re-thread or wind a new bobbin, and continue sewing. The touch panel with graphic display, stitch selection panel, and sewing advisor makes sewing so easy. There are three stitch selection menus. The stitch menu, alphabet menu, and an alphabet sub menu. An icon in the graphic display shows the currently selected menu. Touch the stitch menu button to select one of the different stitch menus. Touch one of the stitch buttons to select a stitch. Menu 1 includes 35 stitches for utility sewing. The stitches are visible on the stitch selection panel. Lift the front lid. 105 decorative stitches from menus 2, 3, and 4 are pictured on the underside of the lid. To select stitch 6 from menu 4, go to stitch menu 4 on the stitch menu button. Touch stitch button 6. On the graphic display, you can see the actual stitch and settings for your choice of stitch. The stitch length and stitch width are automatically set by the machine. To adjust stitch length and stitch width, touch the minus and plus buttons below the graphic display. Touch the end-to-end -end mirror image button to mirror image a stitch end to end. Touch the side to side mirror image button to mirror image a stitch side to side. Touch the function button to step between the normal, program, and repeat modes. Use the program mode to program stitches and letters. Use the repeat mode to sew your programmed stitches and letters. The normal mode is used for all other sewing. Husqvarna Viking Platinum 770 features the exclusive sewing advisor that always selects the best stitch for the weight of fabric you're sewing. Select fabric type and weight before sewing a project. There are seven fabric types to choose between. Light, medium, or heavy woven fabric. Stretch light, medium, or heavy fabric. And a button for leather, plastic, or vinyl. Select fabric type B, medium woven. The letter of the chosen fabric type is visible in the graphic display. There are seven sewing techniques to select from. Seam, overcast, seam overcast, baste, blind hem, 
hem, and buttonhole. Select Technique 1, Seam. The number of the selected technique is visible in the graphic display. The best stitch, stitch width, stitch length, and sewing speed are automatically set by your Platinum 770. The graphic display recommends needle, presser foot, presser foot pressure, and thread tension. The number of the menu and selected stitch are visible to the left of the small sewing machine symbol. Adjust presser foot pressure on the dial under the lid according to the recommendations on the graphic display. The higher the number, the more pressure the foot puts on the fabric. Adjust thread tension on the dial to the right of the sewing head. The higher the number, the tighter the tension. Touch the Stitch Menu button. Select Menu 1, Stitch 2, the straight stitch. Start stitching on a piece of fabric to try out the function buttons on the sewing machine. Lower the presser foot. Step on the foot control to sew. Sew a little way, then stop. Touch the needle stop function button to set the needle to stop down. Lift the presser foot, turn the fabric, sew again, and stop. To sew without the foot control, lower the presser foot. Touch the start stop function button to begin sewing. Touch the button again to stop. To adjust between five different sewing speeds, stop sewing and touch the minus speed function button to slow the sewing speed. Sew. You can adjust speed while sewing. Touch the plus speed function button to increase the sewing speed. While you're sewing, touch the reverse function button. Your Platinum 770 sews in reverse as long as you hold the reverse button in. For permanent reverse, stop sewing and touch the reverse button twice in quick succession. Sew. Your Platinum 770 will sew in reverse until you touch the button again. Touch the Fix button to sew tiny fix stitches at the beginning of a seam. Touch the Fix button while sewing to tie off at the end. Select Stitch Menu 2 and Stitch 13, the small hearts. To sew only one decorative stitch, touch the stop sign button before you start to sew. Your Platinum 770 will sew only one stitch pattern. Tie off and stop. Touch the stop button again to cancel the single pattern command. Touch the stop sign while sewing to finish the stitch pattern at the end of the pattern. To get to know your new Husqvarna Viking Platinum 770, sew a pair of pants in medium woven fabric and a top in stretch fabric to try some of the garment techniques. We have used Berta pattern 2998 for the pants and Berta pattern 2565 for the top. But you can use any favorite pattern with these techniques and seams shown. Cut out all the pattern pieces in your size. Add the seam allowance and hem as instructed on the pattern.
To prevent the fabric edges from fraying, select Overcast on the Sewing Advisor. The graphic display recommends that you set presser foot pressure on 4 and thread tension between 4 and 6. There are several presser feet for different types of sewing supplied with your Platinum 770. Your graphic display will always suggest the best presser foot for your project. The graphic display recommends presser foot J. To change presser foot, pull it down and toward you. Snap the new foot into the ankle. Overcast the edges around all pieces. Select Seam on your sewing advisor. The graphic display recommends presser foot pressure on 4 and thread tension between 4 and 6. Snap on presser foot A. Stitch the darts and the inner and outer leg seams. Leave an opening for the zipper. It's easy to stitch a zipper into a seam. Select Baste on your sewing advisor. Baste the zipper opening and press seam allowances flat open. Select Stitch 7 from Menu 1, the zigzag. Use Presser Foot B. Adjust Stitch Width to 6.0 with the Plus Stitch Width button. Lower the feed teeth with the small dial on the lower front of the free arm. From the wrong side, place the zipper on top of the basted side seam. Stitch several zigzag bar tacks in place along the zipper to baste it in place. These will be removed later. Raise the feed teeth. Select Straight Stitch 1 from Menu 1. Snap on the zipper foot with the needle to the left. Sew across the bottom edge of the zipper. Touch needle stop down to pivot in the corner and stitch with the edge of the foot along the edge of the zipper teeth. Mirror image side to side for a right needle position. Snap on the zipper foot with the needle on the right. Stitch across the bottom of the zipper and along the other side. Use the seam ripper to remove the basting zigzag bar tacks and the basted seam.
Select stitch 5. The reinforced straight stitch is great to mend and sew strong seams, as for the crotch seam on the pants. Snap on presser foot A. Put one leg in the other, right sides together. Sew. Cut out a pocket and a pocket flap in the requested size and shape to place on the back of the pants. Cut the flap three millimeters wider than the pocket to cover properly. Add seam allowances on all sides. There are many beautiful decorative stitches on your Husqvarna Viking Platinum. Select menu three and stitch 21. Use presser foot B. Mark a horizontal line on the pocket with the pictogram pen. Place tearaway stabilizer underneath and sew to the right of the mark. Touch the stop function button to tie off at the end of the decorative stitch row. Select the stitch again to start stitching the pattern from the beginning. Mirror image the stitch side to side. Sew to the left of the mark. Turn under the seam allowance on all sides of the pocket piece. Buttonhole sewing is so easy with the Husqvarna Viking Platinum 770. To sew buttonholes on the pocket flap, select woven medium fabric and buttonhole on your sewing advisor. Notice the buttonhole foot on the graphic display. The wheel beneath the foot indicates that the sensor buttonhole foot is recommended. Snap on the sensor buttonhole foot and plug it into the socket. Line up the white line on the foot with the white area on the red wheel. A button is visible in the display. Use the buttonhole rule in the user's guide to determine the buttonhole size of your button. Set the button size with the selection buttons. Lower the presser foot at the bottom of your buttonhole and step on the foot control to begin sewing. A straight stitch on the left column is stitched away from you. Then a satin stitch is sewn towards you. This is repeated for the right column. The bar tacks are made automatically. Press the foot control until the machine stops.
The wheel measures the lengths of the buttonholes as you sew for perfect buttonholes every time. To sew a manual buttonhole for small areas, select Buttonhole on your sewing advisor. Snap on presser foot C. Begin sewing at the bottom of the buttonhole. At the end of the first side, touch reverse and continue sewing. When the buttonhole columns are the same length, touch reverse. Your Platinum 770 bar tacks ties off. Pull the fabric to the left to cut the threads in the thread cutter. Nine styles of buttonholes are included with your Husqvarna Viking Platinum 770. To sew buttons on the pocket, select menu 1 and the zigzag stitch 7. Remove the presser foot and use the ankle only. Lower the feed teeth. Lower the ankle down on the button. Use the side to side mirror image button to be sure the needle goes into the holes in the button. Adjust stitch width if needed. Sew several stitches and touch the reverse button to tie off. Raise the ankle and pull out fabric and cut threads. Be sure to raise the feed teeth again after sewing the buttons on. Your Platinum 770 has many garment sewing features, including 25 different needle positions. Touch stitch 2 for center needle position straight stitch. Stitch 1 for left needle position. Mirror image side to side for right needle position. To set additional needle positions, Touch minus on the stitch width button repeatedly to move the needle to 12 right needle positions. Select stitch 1 again and minus to move the needle to 12 left needle positions. For a perfect top stitching along the edge of the pocket, select center needle position straight stitch. Snap on the D foot or the optional edge joining foot. Adjust needle position to the left. Sew with the guide along the edge. Pin and sew the lining right sides together with the upper edge. Top stitch lining and seam allowance close to the seam and press the lining to the inside of the pants. Finish the lower edge of the pants with an invisible hem. Select Blind Hem on the sewing advisor. Snap on the D foot as recommended to stitch invisible hems. Lift the button on the left side to unlock and remove the accessory tray. Turn the pants wrong side out and press under a hem. Fold the hem to the right side of the fabric but leave 
part of the hem extending to the right and place pins perpendicular to the hem. Slide the leg over the free arm for easy sewing. Sew on the extension, removing pins before sewing into them. It's easy to sew on stretch fabric with your Platinum 770. Cut out the pieces for a top with 6 mm seam allowance and hem as instructed in the pattern. Select stretch medium fabric on your sewing advisor. It's important to use the correct needle size and type for different fabric type and weight. When sewing in medium weight stretch fabric, a size 90 stretch needle is recommended on the graphic display. You can read about needle types and sizes in the Platinum 770 User's Guide and in the Accessory User's Guide. To change the needle, turn your Platinum 770 off. Loosen the needle clamp screw with the screwdriver and pull needle down. Insert a stretch needle flat side away from you up as far as it will go and tighten the screw. Turn on your Platinum 770 again. Select Seam Overcast on the sewing advisor. Snap on presser foot B. Sew the shoulder seams on the top. To sew a ribbing to a neckline, cut a narrow strip slightly smaller than the neckline opening and stitch it to a circle. Fold lengthwise wrong sides together. Stitch the ribbing to the neckline. To add an extra touch to the sleeves, cut away a piece on the lower end of the sleeves to insert a cordless piping. Cut a narrow strip in red elastic fabric, fold lengthwise wrong sides together. Stitch the folded strip sandwiched between the layers of the sleeve. Finish the inserted fabric strip and the neckline with a twin needle top stitched seam. Twin needles are available as an extra accessory. Insert a size 2.5 twin needle. Select straight stitch. Adjust stitch length to 3.0. When sewing with a twin needle, touch the twin needle button repeatedly until you reach the size of your twin needle. The width will be limited for your size twin needle as you select a stitch to prevent needle breakage. Thread your machine for twin needle. Use the auxiliary spool pin with a felt pad under the spool. Make sure that the threads are separated in the thread tension discs and the right thread is left out of the last thread guide. Stitch on the sleeves and along the neckline.
set the twin needle back to 0.0. .0. Insert a stretch needle. Remove the extra spool. Select seam overcast again. Insert and sew the sleeves and the side seams. Select hem on your sewing advisor. Snap on presser foot B as recommended. Turn under a hem on the lower edge and the sleeves and sew. Your top is finished. It's easy to program stitches and letters on your Platinum 770. Make a label for your new outfit. You can program stitches, outline block and script letters, numbers and special characters. Select Woven Medium on your sewing advisor. To program, touch the Function button to activate the Program mode. Touch the Alphabet menu. There are two fonts available. You can choose between Outline Block and Script. Touch the Alphabet menu to step between the fonts and to select them. Select Script. There are four memories for programming. To program tailor-made in memory one, touch the alphabet submenu to select uppercase letters. Program capital T. To change between uppercase letters, lowercase letters, and numbers or special characters, touch the alphabet submenu button and select lowercase letters. Program A. I, L, O, R, M, A, D, E. Program stop to sew your stitch sequence one time only. The programmed stitch is now saved in memory one. Touch the memory button to go to memory two and to program the next line. Now program Platinum 770. Select uppercase letters and program capital P. Select lowercase letters and program L A T N U M. Oops, I forgot the letter I by mistake. Touch the selection buttons to move the cursor step by step backwards. Touch Clear. Program the letter I. And touch Clear again. Touch Stitch button 35 to enter a space. Touch the Stitch submenu to go to Numbers and Special Characters. Program 770. Program Stop. Go to the next memory, 3. Program the sign for AND and your name in the last memory. My name is Maria. Program STOP. Go to the repeat mode on the function button to sew your programmed stitches. Touch the memory button to go to memory one. Your stitch program appears on the display. If the programmed stitch sequence is too long to be visible on the display, touch the selection buttons to step forward and backward in the stitch sequence. Snap on presser foot B. Sew your programmed stitches with tearaway stabilizer underneath the fabric.
touch the memory button to go to memory two. So the next line. Touch the memory button to go to memory three. So your programmed name on the third line. Cut out a label from your stitched fabric. Turn under raw edges and press. Pin the label on your new outfit. Select stitch 12 from menu 1. Adjust stitch width to 4.0. Mirror image the stitch side to side. With presser foot A, stitch the label in place. Your new outfit is done. Let's see some other sewing techniques on your Platinum 770. Insert a wing needle that is available as an optional accessory. There are several heirloom stitches on your Platinum 770. Go to Stitch Menu 3. Choose Stitch 7 through 13 and sew with matching lightweight thread on linen or cotton fabric. Stitch a piece of lace to a finished fabric edge. On menu 1, select the bridging stitch, stitch 19. Snap on presser foot B as recommended or the optional edge joining foot. Place the lace and the fabric edge to edge in the center under the presser foot, and they are perfectly aligned as you sew. You can sew on soft leather with your Platinum 770. Select Leather and Seam on your sewing advisor. Snap on the Teflon foot. Use a 90 stretch needle. The surface underneath the foot is slick. That prevents the foot from sticking to the leather as you sew. These leather pants are made from the same pattern as the pants made earlier in this video. For a top stitched hem in slacks and jeans, select woven heavy fabric and hem on the sewing advisor. Lift the button on the left side of the accessory tray to unlock and remove it. Slide the leg over the free arm for easy sewing. Use the clearance plate to easily sew over thick seams. With the needle down, lift the presser foot and place the clearance plate under the back of the presser foot with the foot parallel to the fabric. Sew over the seam. Stop, raise the presser foot and reinsert the clearance plate from the front. Sew until the presser foot is clear of the seam.
If you have a tear to mend, select menu 1, stitch 25, the darning stitch. Use fine thread in the same color as the fabric. Sew over the tear, touch reverse, and continue sewing. This automatic darning stitch will stitch 12 times back and forth over the tear to repair it. Place stabilizer under lightweight fabrics. You can sew beautiful applique for garments and home decoration. Select woven medium on the sewing advisor. Cut and fuse the applique design to the garment. Select stitch 8 from menu 1, the satin stitch. Adjust stitch width to 3.0. Snap on presser foot B or use the optional open toe foot for better visibility. Place stabilizer underneath and satin stitch around the applique. You will find more instructions for sewing techniques in your Platinum 770 handbook. The stitch table for utility stitches will guide you on how to use the stitches in the best and easiest way for your sewing. The Accessory User's Guide gives you a lot of information about optional accessories that make specialty technique sewing fun and easy. It features complete instructions on how to use them, and you can find them all at your nearest Husqvarna Viking dealer. Take good care of your Husqvarna Viking Platinum 770. Turn off the machine and snap off the presser foot. Slide off the bobbin cover and lower the feed teeth. Place the small accessory in the end of the lint brush. Insert it into the slot at the back of the stitch plate. Twist the brush toward you to pop off the stitch plate. Lift out the bobbin case holder and the bobbin case and brush the lint away. Set the bobbin case in place with the tension spring toward you. Set the bobbin case holder in place and snap on the stitch plate. Be sure it is on all the way. Slide the cover in place and snap on the presser foot. Raise the feed teeth. The product development at Husqvarna Viking never stops. It goes on and on to satisfy the needs and desires of our customers. Visit your Husqvarna Viking dealer often for classes, demonstrations and information about new products. In the ZigZag magazine, there are always tips and hints about beautiful projects and garments that you can sew. Visit our website, www.huskvarnaviking.com, continuously for tips on sewing projects and techniques. www.huskvarnaviking.com Enjoy the ease of sewing with your new Husqvarna Viking Platinum 770.